Innovation is the goal of our architectural design studio. The problem is always the same. How to build in the greatest quality at an affordable price. Here's where we keep finding new solutions. We start by designing each of our homes to meet building codes that are more stringent than the codes a general contractor has to meet. That's no problem for us, because we build our homes to a higher standard than code requires anyway. We build them to our own standards and the standards of those who demand quality. Hello, I'm Jerry James. I'm the owner and general manager of Franklin Homes. Our motto at Franklin Homes is quality never costs as much as it saves. Here's where the quality begins in the frame shop. You can see over my shoulder here where one of the people who build the frames are building a frame for the next home that is to be rolled out here. And if you'll notice this, the 12 inch I-beam and the strong construction, you'll see that quality really does begin here. You can see that the guys are welding and cutting with the latest equipment. And these frames are designed so that they will handle the loads of whatever the weight of the home is that we build, and it can be transferred safely and without damage to the homeowner's home site. The unique feature of our frames is the suspension. Each wheel is individually sprung to cushion the house from the impact of running over some object or pothole in the road when being towed to your location. This suspension shows the care we take to be certain your home will arrive undamaged. We have a philosophy that guides us concerning quality. The cost of excellent workmanship and materials is offset by the savings in warranty work. If we do it right from the beginning, the homeowner benefits in long-term satisfaction, and we don't have to fix problems if they never arise. Notice the engineering of the HVAC duct cork. The air supply duct steps down to a smaller size near the end. It would be cheaper and easier to put in a straight duct, but by stepping down, the air supply pressure increases to overcome the static air pressure in the rooms at the end of the duct. As a result, you get even cooling and heating throughout the home. Most manufactured home builders do not take the time to caulk seams in their ductwork. We do it because air leaks affect efficiency of the HVAC and can cause mold to grow inside the home and we want to prevent that even if it does take more time. Neatness count. We all learned that in grade school. We apply that to our plumbing and electrical. The reason neatness counts in plumbing is that it indicates a good fit and in electrical, a good connection. A good fit and good connection means it stays together. Superior materials will always make a difference over time. The lumber we specify, for instance, is grade two or better. That means we receive some number ones which have no rough edges or knot holes and some number twos which have only a few. We don't use number three at all though it is commonly used by our competitors. Using number twos or better, we get more strength and a better fit for lasting structural integrity. This is where we assemble the floor joists and apply the decking. Here we use an automated staple machine. We're proud of this. It's moved to a position over a floor joist and it fires staples at every eight inches across the floor. Then we shift four inches and fire staples again, which gives us a staple every four inches. Building code requires staples every eight inches in floor decking. We're proud that we build better than code. Staples every four inches make sure the whole home is stronger and you're not going to hear floors squeaking. As you can see, we also take the extra step to make sure See these tracks? This is the assembly line that the homes roll on during construction. Henry Ford understood the uh, efficiency of a production line. He wanted everybody to be able to afford a car. 
Franklin Homes understands the efficiency of our production line, and we want everybody to be able to afford a well-built home. Consequently, by using this production line, we're able to build manufactured housing for about a third the square foot cost of a site-built home. Once the home is finished, you won't be able to see the thickness of fiberglass in the tub shower enclosure, but you can hear the difference by rapping on it. It has a solid sound that indicates quality like you find in a custom-built home. Here's another custom-built feature. We used to put up the drywall in the bathroom and then install the enclosure over it and trim the edges. Now, we install the enclosure first and we can overlap the enclosure edges with drywall just like you'd see in custom building. There are things we do which are unseen and unnoticed because the problems they solve never arise. We take the time to install this wood backing for the crown moldings to be fastened to. Our crown moldings stay up, but the homeowner never knows the extra step we took to ensure that. We also put wood backing where curtains will be hung. Most manufacturers have curtain rods fastened only to drywall, and they're not going to stay up long. Here's a low-cost way to solve an important problem. Your roof needs ventilation. But when the insulation becomes packed along the edges of the roof, air can't circulate. We lay these little foam devices over the rafters to provide ventilation. This costs so little and is installed so easily, we don't understand why they aren't used by every manufacturer. This header beam is 22 foot long. It's 14 inches high. It is designed to span over a room that is 20 foot wide. Uh, the, the beam is called a micro lamp beam and it's new technology. The unique part about this beam is we put it up in the ceiling so that it does not show in the living room area. And uh, you can have eight foot of clearance, total of eight foot of clearance in the living room with, with, because you can't see this thing. Yet it's still strong enough to support the snow loads and any kind of uh, weather imposed loads that might be put on the roof. We pre-cut every rafter board that goes into our roof truss. We can set this saw to cut four or more angles at once. In one pass, the saw can cut angles at both ends or cut one to length at one end and an angle or a dado at the other end. A carpenter with a table saw could make these cuts, but it would take him much longer. After the rafters have been pre-cut, we have a variety of jigs to assemble the roof truss. The rafter is put into the jig to its exact position with a gang nail strip above and below. And then the press is used to exert the pressure to permanently join the angles together. The press we put together here is going to stay together. The series of presses are stapled together to form the roof and then glued. Even the glue we use is better. It has a much shorter open time, which is the time from applying it to the moment it dries and sets. It's one more efficiency we use to allow our line to move faster. And since labor is a major item in the cost of building, the faster we go, the lower the cost. When the roof is lifted, the ceiling is already in place. Have you ever seen drywall nails working their way out and making bumps in the surface of a ceiling? That won't happen with a Franklin home because there aren't any nails to come out. After lifting the roof with ceiling already attached, it is set down at the station where the ceiling is finished. This is where the ceiling texture is applied. The same guys doing the same job every day offers a consistency that just can't be found in standard home building. Here's a piece of equipment we're very proud of. It's a great example of the automation we use to keep down costs. This amazing machine takes the full-size panel and with very little waste, cuts out cabinet tops, sides, bottoms, shelves, and doors. As you can see, we have cut out the cabinet face fronts and the doors that fit inside those face fronts at the same time. To make the doors fit the openings, they first have moldings applied. The cabinet shop is where the doors are trimmed with molding. Once again, 
A jig is used to align the molding so that it cuts at exactly the right length to fit the door. After moldings are applied, there are hinges attached and everything is carefully fitted. These cabinets are going to fit with precision when installed in the home and they're constructed of materials that don't shrink or swell and change the fit and allow doors and drawers to stick. You won't find better constructed cabinets in any home. We like to say this is all a waste is created in building a set of cabinets or a manufactured home, but a lot of good stores are run by the truth, so let me tell the truth. The truth is, is we do have a lot less waste than a site built house. On a typical 2,000 square foot house, we would probably have eight to 10 times less weight than a carpenter would on a site built operation. Waste means wasted dollars, and wasted dollars adds up to the cost. Consequently, the material we save you in manufacturing a home is applied to the cost of the house, bringing the cost down. Come on. We pride ourselves in doing things the homeowner never knows we do. They would only know if we didn't do them, and that's what makes the difference in details here at Franklin Homes.